In this video we're going to look at how to add an audio file to a text block in the ePortfolio system. The first thing you need to do is actually load the audio file to the file library. The easiest and quickest way to do that is a bit of a trick. So if you go add content and choose upload new file, right, I'm going to click on add file and I'm going to find a sample audio file. It's an MP3, so it won't um, upload all different types of sound files, but the common one should upload. And note you've got a maximum of 300 megabytes. So I've added the file and I'm going to choose start uploading. So once the file has uploaded, as you can see there, just close. Now the file will show here, but I actually want it in my text block because I want to write about it afterwards. Um, I want it in context. So I can delete it, the sound file from the page, but it will stay in the library. So that just takes it off the page, deleting it there. Now what I need to do is I'll edit the text block and I need a actual link to that file. So Chalk and Wire actually create, us one, create you one. So if you click on Browse and go to the audio files in the file library and there's only one which I've just uploaded and choose Done. So now you've got a link to the file that you can use in other places as well as in the ePortfolio system. And what I'm going to do, I could add a text link to the file but I'm actually going to choose Insert Edit Video because you can use this option for sound files as well. Put in the uh, link and click OK. Now I could uh, select that and maybe just center it. It actually won't take up that much space you'll see in a moment. So that's just a placeholder to show where it's going. I'm going to choose save and close. And as you can see you've got a little uh, sound bar here and you can play 